Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, playing the historical single battles from the perspective of the Japanese on Killer Fish Games, War on the Sea. Today we're going to be doing the Battle of Vela Gulf, which the game describes as a Japanese destroyer force carrying troops to reinforce Columbangara and the Solomon Islands as ambushed by U.S. destroyers. Uh, pretty accurate to the historical aspects of it. Uh, U.S. had six destroyers, Japanese had four. Uh, the Japanese were using fast destroyers to uh, put troops on Columbangara, like it said. This is where the term Tokyo Express came from. Um, they do a series of these runs and in the final run, the destroyers were attacked by 15 U.S. PT boats, including PT-109. Uh, commanding PT-109 was a uh, naval officer named John F. Kennedy. In the battle, the uh, PT-109 was sunk. Um, Kennedy and a bunch of the uh, crew survived. However, he was... Uh, he messes back up pretty good, and it's a, a problem that would follow him through the rest of his life, up to and including his presidency. So, this battle of Tula Gulf, or Vela Gulf, excuse me, was the first time the Japanese were defeated in a night destroyer action. So, we are going to get into this. I'm kind of curious to see if the new uh, spotlight feature is uh, on this. Okay, so here's our four destroyers. It's, uh, yeah, it looks like it might be. Searchlights. Nice. Okay, turn that off. Alright. Okay, there's the enemy there. Let's hit pause. Now the problem with the uh, searchlights is that they provide a solution bonus for you. However, they also provide a solution bonus for the enemy. So it's kind of a double-edged sword here. All right, we're going to go through and identify these uh, destroyers, the ones that we can see at this time. Got a Mahan. Uh, let's see how are the guns situated. Right, it's either a Gridley or a Bagley. I'll identify her as. Ridley. And number three so far, same. Ridley. Is that it? Can't be it. Oh, so it is. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, so. Hagakaze, Arasashi. We're going to target number two. Kalagaze and Shigure, target number one. So, uh, let's see what we can do with these spotlights here. Oh, I guess they're automatically on. Okay, let's get everyone firing. Not seeing the. Well, that looks kind of cool. Mm 
Yeah, all our spotlights are coming on. That actually looks kind of cool. They got their spotlights on too. Alright, we're going to maneuver off in this direction. Try and avoid any, uh, any torpedoes. We're going to bump our speed up. Oh, we got more destroyers coming in. So there are more than three. Let's see what we have. There's... Oh yeah, here's three more, so we're up against six. They have split their force, it looks like. Torpedoes here. Let's launch them all. Widespread. Okay, the second group of three is starting to come through. those spotlights back on, see if we can uh, get that solution back up. And we, uh, now that outside the arc with the, uh, rear turret, so let's maneuver them off in this direction. Alright, we are damaged, but not on fire as of yet. Taking some pretty good hits, though. At some point, we're going to have to switch our fire to uh, the second group of three here. Bagley's here. <coughs> okay. We got a bunch. Of, got a nice spread of torpedoes moving in. I don't know if they're going to hit anything or not. If they do. It's going to be this Mahan out front. Possibly the Gridley in the rear. Let's follow that action. They just pass right underneath her. So that's what they'll probably do with the uh, Gridley, too. So. Alright. Yep, yeah, right underneath the Gridley. So 
like they are switching their fire. That does look cool, I have to say. And just because, why not launch these torpedoes? Oh, you already did. Alright, we're gonna take manual control. Turn you to port. Turn you to port. Okay, how are we doing over here? We got fires. Starboard as well. Ten percent solution. That didn't really seem to do too much to uh, help the solution out. Right. They're either making smoke or we are doing some damage here. Okay, that grid bleeds on fire. Okay, we should probably do something with these guys. Instead of having them just turn in circles. Have you come down here? You come down here. We're gonna have you uh, refocus your fire on this rear ship, identified as Gridley or Bagley. We'll go with Bagley this time. Why not? We are starting to take some pretty heavy fire here. Uh, this Mahan is not really taking a lot of hits, so we will stop targeting her and start targeting this rear Gridley. Okay. Here, you guys target the Gridley here, and open fire. Break you off here. Alright, how are we doing? Let's go through our damage. Uh, heavy damage, minor flooding. No damage, no damage, and considerable damage. and heavy fire, so might want to slow her down a little bit. Okay, we're going to turn you guys to starboard. Alright, looks like we 
are getting the fires under control. Kind of. Causing any damage out here. Not looking like it. Okay, so have yeah, this way. And have you break and follow. How's your solution? 18%. We're hitting her. Okay, once again we're going to have you switch your targets, stop targeting Ridley and hold your fire, start targeting this Bagley. got your fires under control so 30 seconds you can bump your speed back up okay how are we doing as far as who we're shooting at can't really tell if any of these are uh, damaged I think they did withdraw one of their uh, destroyers. We're gonna pass pretty close to uh, this Bagley here, so. Okay. Fires are under control. You can bump your speed back up. getting hit pretty good. She's giving it out just as good though. Oh, that was a nice explosion. Those searchlights do look pretty cool. Now they're shutting the searchlights off, it means they're uh, withdrawing. we damaged them. I wonder if the searchlights get damaged. Can't really tell. I think the uh, the American force is uh, kind of pulling back. Alright, we got <laughs> American ships that are going to be coming pretty close to us here, so... So here's what we're going to do. Pause for a second. And we are going to have you stop targeting Bagley. Start targeting number five, which we can identify as uh, another Gridley or Bagley. And fire. Well, stop targeting her. Start targeting her. Okay. Hold your fire. Stop targeting her. Start targeting Miss Bagley. Start targeting 
vaguely. Alright, we're gonna have... Let's see, make sure you're firing. Okay. physically collide with the uh, the enemy ships. Alright, we are taking damages here. Uh, they're getting pretty bad. Looks like both our guns are out of order. Nope, this is front forward gun. Uh, what do we have? We have our torpedoes, so might as well. Before you sink. yards. Pretty sure, once again, that wasn't how this naval combat was intended, but... Alright, Gridley's got the torpedoes about to go underneath her. But she can maneuver out of the way. Which she did. So, there's that. fighting though. We're just doing not a good job of hitting her. Torpedoes in the water. Okay, so break turns port. Highly doubt you're gonna evade them, but they may go underneath you. I don't know. I mean, she's listing pretty heavy. She may even just sink here doing this hard to port turn. What's the C 
Tennessee State. Four. She may just roll over. Trying to evade these torpedoes. Although she might have done it. I think she might actually do it. She can uh, get headed north in time. direction as best you can. Yeah, she missed them. Good. We're maneuvering. Okay, this Bagley's looking okay. This one is not. This Gridley back here looks like she's uh, burning pretty good too. Okay, Bagley. Miss Gridley down here is also while well, she was on fire. Be helpful if this one sunk. We could uh, focus our fire on uh, someone else. Thinking we're gonna. Uh oh, torpedoes! More torpedoes! Yeah, that's all right. Stubborn. Okay. Let's have you head off in this direction. this bagley. Oops. She is on fire. She is on fire. under control here. Very stubborn Bagley. She put the fires out. heavy flooding, moderate damage, minor flooding. We are at 2,000 yards and barely hitting her. She's at six knots, so it should be pretty easy to hit a fairly stationary target. Fire fairly quick here. 
fact, I think I'm going to do that now. Stop targeting Bagley. Start targeting this Ridley here. And fire. other Bagley and fire. You can actually do some manual fire on her. She's traveling pretty slow, so Get the manual fire going here. Fire. Just get a couple salvos off on her. Nope, nope. Not target your own ship. Target the Bagley. And fire. Okay, this Grizzly looks like she's doing okay, despite the fact that we're basically running neck and neck. It looks like he's actually got all the fires under control, just about. Pretty far outside of range though. Seven knots. Let's see, speed is at 20%. Get our forward guns fixed yet? Nope. This is a nice hit. Okay, you are not doing the greatest.
turn around. <clears throat> wow. All of our guns are still in action. Oh, we got torpedoes too. Fire those. Why not? Focus on this bagley. Just taking fire from both sides here. Americans are doing a pretty good job of getting their uh, damage under control. Oh, there we go. Okay. Should we nav this way? I'm going to have you break. we are. Oh my lord. Actually out of ammo in our forward guns. <laughs> wow, look at that. Maybe torpedoes a lot better. Oh. 220 yards. That's insane. Blast away. A good fight. Slowly sinking. So we got all our torpedoes. Okay, so let's break. Turn you to port. See if we can avoid a collision here. Break. Turn you to port as well. here. I want this bagley. Not sure if I'm going to pursue the rest of them or not. Might just withdraw. Go two for two. Alright, number six. How is number six doing here? Number six is heavy moderate. Okay, got awful quiet here. Oh, we are out of ammo. <laughs> that would be why. Might as well launch the torpedoes, then get out. We are all out of ammo. So, 
Let's... First time I've ever run out of ammo with destroyers. I could always do something, uh, just completely careless and try and ram her. I'm not gonna do that, though. I mean, really, I don't really have much to, much to lose. There's not a campaign to, uh, continue or anything like that. It would be nice to get the bag laid down, though. Okay. Might as well cease the attack. See if we can't get away. Now she's on fire. Or maybe not. I don't know who that is. Probably her. Who is this? Oh, here. Oh, that is the bag. Like, see, are we going to get any torpedo hits? Are they all going to go right underneath? They all went right underneath. I don't even see him. Oh, we got her. She actually got hit by one of those torpedoes. Huh, I didn't even see him. Wonder where they are. She's still moving along pretty good though. Turn these searchlights off. And we can use some time compression here. Just kind of want to see if Bagley sinks. She looks like she's going to. I mean, look at that. I'm going to have to turn around, actually. Keep her, uh, keep our eyes on her. You got any torpedoes left you can shoot? Nope. How about you? Nope. Guess we could shoot star shells at her. <laughs> Why not? It's the only thing we have. Star shells. Fire. on her. It's not moving anymore. Now maybe we will ram her. Alright, head for those star shells. speed oh boy she's actually moving now not for long <laughs> I think we're hitting her with star shells there you go let's go right up over top of her right up over top of her right there. Wow, that's kind of cool. Turn the spotlight on. Alright, now we're barely moving any faster than she is. 
we're shooting star shells at her. It's ridiculous. Alright, turn in. <laughs> Boing. Bounce straight off. Alright, back up. We'll speed ahead. How is she not sinking? Every time I ram my own ships, I end up sinking. Oh. Oh. There we go. Ship number two. sinking ship. That would have been embarrassing. I don't even think I have star shells left. Here we go. Oops, I missed. Damn it. Gotcha. This is so lame. We're shooting star shells at her. She's going faster than us, despite the fact that she got ran over by another ship. Alright, well, the indestructible Bagley. Alright, so that's going to do it for... Uh, Vela Golf. A Japanese defeat in real life, a Japanese defeat here. Let's take a look at what we uh, managed to do in the meantime. Critical damage, heavy flooding. Hmm. I'm still going to call her indestructible. Alright, so that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. If you liked the episode, hit the like. Uh, you can leave your thoughts in the comments below. Wouldn't mind hearing from you guys. If you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button so you can follow along with uh, the rest of these single missions and uh, check out the uh, American campaign I got going. That's actually going pretty good. I actually take that seriously, so no ramming going on. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have a good day.